Is comedy supposed to be funny or dirty? I'm not sure I can tell anymore. Recently, Kathy Griffin, a comedian whose joke routines are a case study for indecency, became ordained through an online church so she could officiate the wedding of two of her fans. Apparently, the nuptials featured raunchy one-liners and the bride reading a restaurant menu. Griffin's in-your-face attitude toward marriage and religion is nothing new. Add a dose of immoral sexual content and you pretty much have Griffin's shtick. Unfortunately, she's not alone. American comedy in clubs and bars has always functioned on or over the edge of whatever cultural mores allowed. People who wanted salacious entertainment had to pay for access. Today, body comedy is no longer restricted to adult venues. It's gone mainstream. What used to be called indecency is accessible in all media, in cyberspace, on billboards, in print, on t-shirts, anywhere you look. Chris Rock, Ricky Gervais, and a host of others channel Richard Pryor and George Carlin using every word in the vulgarity lexicon, repeatedly, and audiences laugh dutifully. If anything, female Canadians may be worse. Sarah Silverman sets the standard. She's been called brilliant and a comedic genius for her YouTube pieces featuring repeated use of the F word. Not everyone is pleased with the trend. Bill Cosby didn't use profanity on stage or on his records and for years has worn young comedians away from vile content. Dirty comedy is a matter of cultural morality, but also economics. Comedians do what sells. We're all consumers. What are we refusing to watch or buy?